Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying the game. So, I bought all the expensive houses in this game and I thought I'd show you guys, give you a little tour of what you're getting for 200,000 and 300,000. We are here on the first house, this is the 200,000 one. This is located in Vernworth. It's basically the first house on your left when you go into the noble quarters. It's not difficult to get, there is no quest or anything. And the moment you come in here, there's going to be a guy just standing here day and night asking you if you want to purchase this house. So let's take a look, let's go inside, let's see what you get for 200,000. It is pretty cozy, you know, as you walk in. Uh, what I do like is you have your storage chest right here. That's pretty quick. It's a little bit quicker than the smaller house in the same city and uh, this area doesn't have anything it's pretty big and there is this dining area kind of food decorations and all that stuff in here it looks it looks okay i think it's not too bad and then you have a upstairs where you have the bedroom so let's go upstairs and just one room only that's it that's uh, nothing else, that's it. And uh, you get another table with food and all the stuff and the bed. Now, this is a big bed, so it's a, you know, better, better bed, I guess, than the other uh, smaller house. And uh, they give you this. So, so you do get a few thousands back out of the 200,000 that you pay for this house. So I left that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to take it now. And then you have this kind of, uh, Balcony. Oops. So my pony is about to fall off. But uh, but yeah, it's like uh, you have this this view of the the city. Uh, it's a decent view, I think. This is not bad. So not too bad. Now, is, is this worth it? Two hundred thousand gold. Uh, no, I gotta say, no, it's it's not worth it. I mean. For 200,000, you can get a superb set of armor and weapons and then some more in this game. So, kind of buying this house is probably one of your last thing that you should be doing. Uh, to be honest, yeah, I, I actually prefer the smaller house. Let me take you guys there to the smaller house in this location. You buy the smaller house from a lady who stands outside in this area. She shows up relatively early during the game, not too late. So this is the smaller house, the one that you get for 20,000 gold. And I'll be honest, I kind of prefer it a little bit more like a for gameplay wise, you know, because it's a little bit closer to the center actually. So it's closer to the merchant quarters and it's kind of pretty close to one of the Oxcar stations. So I actually use this one more often. Uh, besides, when you want to sleep, the bed is right next to the storage. This is a definitely a more sensible purchase in the game. I would highly recommend it to get this house. This is definitely a house that you want to get. So, and this is only twenty thousand gold. Those are the two houses in here. So I'm going to take you now to the other two houses in Back Bathal. Let's go in and let's take a look. I mean, it's a different style. It's basically a house in the mountains and uh, not much going on. There's this kind of kitchen area type of thing, a table in the middle, the bed with the storage unit there. And that's pretty much it. And then just, just this view. I mean, I mean, the view is nice. I'm not, I'm not too sure what I'm looking at. Uh, I don't know what that area is, but uh, this is what 300,000 buys you here. The only, I guess, unique thing about this particular house is that all my pawns can come in. Like they're all walking. All the other houses, the pawns do not come in. They just stay outside, like the the ones that you hire, not your main point. Your main point always stays with you. So this is the 300,000 gold house. 
And this house, they didn't even leave anything inside for me to loot, like uh, there's nothing. So it was a full 300,000 gold. And uh, I'm going to show you now what the 30,000 house looks like, the one in also here in Bakvathal. So this is the outside of the 30,000 gold house and this is the sensible version. I believe this lady is the one who sells. Uh, it was a Bistrom lady that stands here that you just talk to her and she will ask you if you want to buy a house and it's 30,000 gold. And uh, this one, you know, also small, but, it's, but it looks a little bit better than the 20,000 house in Burnworth. I mean, at least it has a separation of two different rooms. Yeah, it's kind of like a Fringstone type of vibe in here. But yeah, I definitely use this house more because it's just closer. I mean, the other house is all the way. Here is the the house, the 30,000 house. But the other one, you have to go outside, go to the palace. And it's kind of here in this corner. Let me see if I can get to the palace. So you get to the palace, so that's the capital here. You come in and there's a guy standing here in this corridor that you can talk to. Actually a lady uh, NPC that you talk to and uh, she will ask you if you want to buy the house. And the, and the house is all the way back here. So it's definitely further out, so I usually don't use it. On these two houses, I just dropped half a million gold. And I could have gotten so much better armor or weapons for that, but I bought it just uh, out of curiosity and really just for the video uh, so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, so, so that's how it looks. Once you've gotten everything else, you know, you're happy with your vocations, with your armors, with your weapons, and you still have more gold left, then go ahead, you know, obviously get these two houses. But all right, so I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. And I'll see you all in the next video.